The Washington Square Arch is a public monument in New York City. Designed by Stanford White and dedicated in 1895, the arch has stood at the foot of Fifth Avenue as a defining feature of Greenwich Village. In 2000, the Parks Department embarked on an extensive restoration project to refurbish the aging historic monument. Today marks the hist an historic rebirth of one of New York City's most famous landmarks, and it's the rededication of the Washington Square Arch after a $3 million restoration project that really has returned the arch to its original glory. The Washington Square Arch as it exists today is a wonderful example of typical late 19th, early 20th century Beaux-Arts collaborative projects, which grew out of a whole interest in creating the city beautiful. Uh, this monument was designed by Stanford White, originally as a temporary structure to celebrate the centenary of the inauguration of George Washington as president here in, in New York. Uh, it was so loved during those celebrations that it was decided to be recreated in permanent material, uh, that is marble and limestone, and moved into the park and then appropriately decorated with both allegorical uh, and figural sculpture. The sculptures on the Washington Square Arch were put up about 25 years after the arch itself was built. One on the eastern side uh, shows George Washington as commander of chief of the Continental Army. And the western pier is George Washington as president. And that's by Alexander Sterling Calder. And if the name rings a bell, he indeed was the father of the better known Alexander Calder, the mobilist. You can never return the arch to its original condition. It will continue to erode under acid rain uh, and the occasional act of vandalism. Uh, but we can help arrest that and we can help bring back its uh, iconography. The ravages of time took their toll. For over 60 years, cars and buses ran through the arch. Rain, thaw, environmental pollutants, roosting birds, vandals, and inappropriate treatment attempts contributed to a widespread deterioration of the masonry surface as evidenced in these two statues of George Washington on the northern facade. We concentrated on restoring the face to some degree and trying to bring the texture and the look of the badly damaged face so that it would uh, fit overall aesthetically with the rest of the monument. And our biggest concern is that it look right, that it looks aesthetically pleasing uh, and correct, even if it still looks weathered, which is part of its history, that it still look right from the street. Part of our effort is in hopes to make him more recognizably George Washington, which he was originally, and I think already with the, uh, the, the work that's been done here on the right cheek, his character is already starting to come back. The carvings on the arch were done by a very famous um, company called the Picciarelli Brothers. Uh, they were located in the Bronx. So all of these rosettes are hand carved, and they're really quite amazing because this entire piece where you can see the mortar joints including the rosette is one integral piece of stonework and so it's really quite amazing very expensive to replicate and um, as a result what we're doing is removing the rosettes as you can see here and putting on uh, cast stone replacements uh, taken from a mold of this very rosette that we're looking at here and they'll be color matched you know to the Takaho marble which is what the arch is made out of. I know uh, as a New Yorker that monuments like this public sculpture um, Public buildings throughout the city are very important to the citizens of New York City uh, and to the United States as well. The natural glow of the marble is enhanced by architectural lighting installed during the restoration. A fixture for over a century, the arch now illuminates the neighborhood at night.